Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ezra with Integrative Kidney Solutions and today I'm going to be talking to you about phosphorus or dietary phosphorus and kidney health. We get a lot of comments on our videos and, and blogs and social media outlet about uh, phosphorus, especially when we talk about um, plant-based diet. And uh, we thought that we can come up with this video to clarify few things about phosphorus and uh, kidney disease and kidney health. Now, let's do this. Now, when we talk about phosphorus, let me clarify one thing is that uh, when we talk about phosphorus, it's actually we're talking about phosphate. Um, you know, and usually when I talk to my patient, I, I do use the term phosphorus and it's common uh, to see it in the literature, but what we're really actually talking about is phosphate. Uh, in this video, we're gonna, uh, for simplification, we're gonna use the term phosphate also. Uh, there's really absolutely no doubt that the average person require phosphate in a diet to, uh, to live a healthy life. So uh, on average, we require 900 to 1250 milligram of phosphorus uh, a day. Uh, and, and this is in the higher uh, side of the range is mainly for growing children and pregnant women. But kidney disease, however, need to restrict their phosphorus intake. Now what happened when you have kidney disease is that the kidney ability to, kidney's ability to get rid of phosphorus decline, and it declines actually early, as, early in kidney disease. So uh, what happens is that the body produces a hormone called FGF23. We're gonna, not going to talk about that hormone today because um, it's complex. But uh, th basically, that hormone, really what it does, it tells the kidneys or try to push the kidneys to get rid of more phosphorus. And as the kidney function declines with advancing kidney disease, unfortunately, their ability to get rid of phosphorus decrease and if someone is eating uh, high phosphorus in the diet they're uh, they're gonna producing more of that hormone but then phosphorus still gonna be accumulating and there have been many studies that showed that that hormone is associated with poor cardiovascular outcomes in kidney patients now um, to summarize this we you know say decreased kidney ability to get rid of phosphorus and high phosphorus diet will lead to increased FGF23 and that will lead to poor cardiovascular outcomes. And there's more evidence also that phosphorus can also increase the parathyroid hormone and can, be, can lead to poor um, bone health. So we, we talked about that in the previous video uh, when we talked about vitamin D, so check it out. Uh, now, we, here's a study that just came out last month, and in that study, the, uh, they found that uh, people who follow plant-based diet um, that has legume, nuts, and whole grains um, are less likely to develop chronic kidney disease than people who um, uh, take animal-based diet of uh, processed meat and red meat. And... Uh, as you saw from previous video, we have, we have been advocating for plant-based diet for kidney patients uh, to delay the progression of kidney disease. And the, the evidence for this is accumulating day by day. But we get pushed back uh, when we talk about plant-based diet because you know, plant-based diets usually include legumes, nuts, and seeds. And these traditionally are thought to be high in phosphorus. So um, how do we mesh the two things together? Now, um, I, uh, I mentioned in previous video that we actually, there's, in every dietary uh, nutri nutrient, there is good nutrient and bad nutrient. There's good sugar and bad sugar. There's good protein and bad protein. And here also there is good phosphorus and there's bad phosphorus and there's actually ugly phosphorus. Now, let me be clear first that um, the the, when we look at per, per serving size, the phosphorus content of um, animal protein and dairy are the highest. And then you come down to plant-based um, sources, they have less uh, phosphorus content per serving. Now, what is uh, more interesting is that 
the phosphorus that is in plant-based uh, sources, such as legumes and seeds and nuts, is actually uh, uh, present in, uh, in a, a substance called phytic acid. And it turns out that humans do not have the ability to digest to, to digest that, um, that substance, the phytic acid. So we really actually do not absorb a lot of the phosphorus that is present in uh, the, the plant-based sources. And we actually, we actually only absorb 40% of plant-based phosphorus as compared to 60% of uh, animal-based sources of phosphorus. Now here's a surprise. It turns out that the food industry is actually deliberately adding phosphorus to uh, many foods while uh, during the processing uh, of the food. Uh, and they do that uh, for, uh, to prevent discoloration, to uh, preserve the food, to thicken them, to uh, improve their taste. And uh, sadly, they have been very creative and finding ways to hide that phosphorus. So you see names, and when you read, look at the ingredients, you see names like calcium phosphate, disodium phosphate, phosphoric acid, like we see in dark sodas, um, uh, like Pepsis and, and, and diet Pepsi and diet colas, uh, monopotassium phosphate, sodium acid pyrophosphate, sodium tri, uh, tripolyphosphate. Now, when I tell my patients is like, you need to look at the ingredients. And if you see anything uh, in the ingredient that has the four letters P-H-O-S on them, uh, that means that has a lot of phosphorus and you should not buy it. Now, uh, it turns out we actually absorb 100% of the processed phosphorus um, uh, and, and that is added to the food. So uh, once again, we should stay away from phos uh, processed food, especially processed meat and even processed veggies. Um, and, and you must read the label and stay safe. For more information, follow us at www.inkidney.com. You can also uh, follow us uh, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, we also would love to hear your comments here. So please, if you like this video, press the like button, comment here so we can uh, reply to you and we can possibly have an idea for a future video that you may like.